Tell me when you're ready. Okay guys, I'm going to do a video today on side hill lies. We did one the other day on uphill and downhill, but I forgot the side hill component. So we're going to go over here, my roving cameraman. <clears throat> okay, now this is a fairly <clears throat> decent slope here. Now I'll show you the one if it's um, we're side hill here as opposed to uphill we're, we're actually side hill. Um, Clint you're going to have to carry that because you're going to have to come around here because I'm going to have to or you're going to have to come over here because I'm going to shoot this way as well. I'll, I'll actually do I'll do this one I'll go this way first right um, now you're better off to get there and then you can then you can see the angle because I need to to have the angle okay guys now if you've got if you've got a a side hill lie like this the, the normal convention is that people will say to you um, aim right aim right and uh, to take into consideration that the club is going to be moving this way but what I find happens is that if you if you aim right off this see when I'm here like this I've got both feet nice and planted and parallel and I've got good balance but if I aim right I invariably pull this foot back now my weight goes back this way so I've got a propensity to be leaning this way I don't want to do that so what I do I I keep both feet there and I, and I actually I don't aim to the right. If, if that tree over there, see that tree there? That'll be a, a target. I don't aim to the right of that tree. What I do is, and this is a very, very steep up uh, side hill lie, I keep both feet there and I get as close to the ball as I can. Now, by getting as close to it as I can, I take out the arc in the golf swing. Now, the arc in the golf swing is the thing that's going to pick the ball up and take it left. If you play it out of the normal position, now I get rid of that by playing the ball back in my stance. I don't play it anywhere near the uh, the normal position, because, and that means if I've if I've got a ball here, the club is, is going to be starting to move this way by the time it gets to it. But if it's back here, it's still coming this way. So. It just takes that into consideration when I'm doing it. I don't have to worry about aiming right. So, and, and also I get on top of the, as much on top of the ball as I can. I, I mean, when, you, when you're in a situation like this, you're not, you're not trying to hit a career shot anyway, ever. All, all you're trying to do is, is get the ball to go forward with a reasonable amount of, um, of, uh, of direction and power. So, okay, this is very severe. I mean, my feet are way below here. So I've had to grip it down, you know, five inches. So I play it back in the stands, get as close to it as I can because I want to swing fairly upright. I don't want to, um, I don't want to be swinging on an arc and I'm going to play the ball back, back in the stands. Play it here and I'm, and I'm, and, and uh, clearly you, you want to be leaning forward but the easiest way to do that guys is just think of getting your knees outside your toes if you think you will get your knees outside your toes as opposed to just see what you can do is you can be a bit like a duck drinking you can actually lean forward in a situation like this and your balance is terrible but if you get if you just push your knees out over your toes your center of gravity is good then it's basically straight up through the body that's where the center of gravity is so I don't advocate aiming to the right uh, to take into consideration that arc because we're going to eliminate the arc in the um, in the golf swing. So this is you've got to make sure that you really do um, grip the club down, grip it way down, and and get your knees knees out there. And and guys, don't 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 get off the ball very much in the backswing. 
not at all. I mean, you don't need a, a move off the board. You basically just need to stay stationary and just fire the hands. And here we are. Play it back in the stance. Keep, keep the knees over the toes. That's perfect. Oh, how good is that? That's just going dead straight. Now, that was an uphill um, side hill light. This is a downhill side hill light. You may have to come around here. Just, just front on first. What, what, what people will tell you normally is to to position yourself like that with your feet in that normal position there and just put your weight on your heels. But guys again I do something different. I find that if you have your feet parallel like that with your toes pointing forward you're tipping onto your toes. Very hard to keep back so what I do is I do that. I duck splay. Now as soon as I duck splay my feet like that, see what happens? My buttock goes down behind my heels. And it's very hard to do that with your feet here because you feel like you're going to tip forward again a lot. Now, okay, so 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 that's one thing. I I, I splay the feet out like a duck, and that lets me sort of sit down like that. Again, I get as close to the ball as I possibly can. Here. Now, invariably, the club player will hit the ball to the right off a severe downhill slope like this because he's trying to balance himself and as he swings in because he's not balanced well he'll fall forward and the club will do this he'll try and pull away from it and the club face will be open and the ball will go straight right for a right hander so so what I do to offset that guys I don't do I don't again I don't do any aiming left at all I just shut the face down a little bit because as soon as I as soon as I aim left, look, my weight's gone over here. As soon as I'm aiming up the hill left, the weight's gone over here, so the balance is gone. I want to keep the balance centered. So so what I do is I, I duck splay it. I get I, I've got my knees bent. They're actually a little bit bow legged, which gives me to get close to it. And through the ball and, and I have the blade shut down a little bit. And that's going to compensate for for um, any loss of balance and maybe a little bit of that. But guys, what I want to do is I just want to turn the left hand down through the ball. I want to eliminate the ball going that way. If I can gauge my standard aim so and I know, okay, the worst I'm going to get is a little pull here, but I'm not going to get a squirter to the right. Okay, so we go duck footed. We get we get down to it. My buttocks are hanging over. I've got pressure here on the inside and I'm gonna I'm gonna really rotate that left hand down and again guys we're not trying to um, to um, to hit a career shot we just want to hit a, a nice solid shot so I'm gonna stay here I'm gonna be very leggy my bottom's really hanging in space got a lot of pressure on the insides of the feet here like that but if I'm here guys I'm tippy toed I mean that's elementary with your balance if you've got your feet down the slope you're going to go with it put them out sideways so we've got a, a force going this way and a force going this way which will centralize us so here we are and, and of course to stop the ball going left I do exactly the opposite to what I do on the upslope where I play the ball back I play the ball a bit up because I want the club releasing left of the line a little bit to compensate for anything that's going to go to the right. So we move the ball up a little bit. So we've got this here. Buttocks hanging out. I'm nice and close and I'm just going to rotate the left hand into the ground. Here. And of course you maintain that, that's a good shot, you maintain the um, the flexibility in your knees. The last thing you want to do guys is do that. A apart from the fact that you could miss the golf ball, um, you could also hoik it. That Scottish shot where you could just hoik the ball straight over there. Yeah so it's a little bit different 
in uh, in in the way I, I, I play, you know, um, side hill lies, but I just don't like now like with the uphill one if you come around here Glenn, with the uphill one I just don't like aiming over there because as soon as I go over there this foot comes back and I'm basically on that back foot now I don't want to be there at all under any circumstances I, I want to be square and playing it back means that the club is going to be catching the ball anyway while it's it's pointing a little bit to the right and like any good shot guys you've got to release the golf club now you don't want to be you know aiming right and then scared to release it I, I release it as hard as I can okay guys that's just that's just an add-on to that um, to the up and downhill lies the other day I forgot to to mention the um, the side hill lies okay guys hope that's a help